everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading i hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day so for today's pick a card reading we have what is ready to bloom into your guys's life in the moment i think this is such a beautiful topic it really inspired me today so i thought it's going to be a good reading so i hope that you enjoy it and we have three piles to choose from. We have pile number one with Hawthorne, pile number two with the seed, and pile number three with Daisy. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to, and then you can skip to the timestamps which are in the description box, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading for today about what is ready to bloom in your guys' life in this moment. So pile number one for your card today, you guys feel drawn to the beautiful Hawthorne as well as the yellow crystal. Okay, so this is your crystal and your card for today. And let's get right into your reading pile number one. Let's see what is ready to bloom in your life in this time. I'm super excited about the topic today. So let's see what messages does the universe have for you guys. Okay, I'm going to start with Oracle cards as usual, and let's just see the energy for you, Paul number one. Universe, what is ready to bloom for Paul number one in this time in their life? Let's see if we get another one. What is ready to bloom in your life, Paul number one? All right. Ooh, wow, look at you, Paul number one. You got the lucky card. Oh, I like this energy right away. Okay, so something good is definitely happening for you. Ooh. And we have birth. Wow. Okay, so this is quite straightforward. Okay, some of you, maybe you are, maybe you want to have children, maybe you're about to give birth, uh, but I, if you don't resonate with like giving birth to a child, then I feel that you're ready to give birth to maybe a project, right? When I see birth, I either think of like, <clears throat> like a literal, you know, child or maybe like a project because a project is still our baby, right? It's something that we create, something that we nurture, we take care of, we develop it and then we sort of release it to the world. So I I feel, you know, maybe it's even rebirth for this pile, right? I'm seeing kind of a couple of um, energy. See what you resonate with. For some of you, it could be literally like um, self-rebirth, right? You're ready to change something about yourself. You feel like there is that momentum where you're about to, you know, just rebirth um, or you're about to release a really big project that you have been working on. Or maybe some of you, again, are literally getting ready to give birth to a child. Maybe you want to conceive a child. So there is this kind of energy of uh, birth for this pal, right? I feel like that's what's ready to bloom in your life and it's going to be quite lucky i feel like this time around your life feels quite lucky since you did get the lucky card um i feel that all of this is going to bring in so much joy for you or it's going to bring good fortune it's you know if you're planning to release something in this time i feel like it's going to do really well it's going to maybe receive really good feedback from people um or again like if you're wanting to give birth it's it's a, always a joyful time and now uh, overall i see really good energy for you around this time but i feel like the main thing that's ready to bloom for you is um, perhaps like a project or again maybe a child could be rebirth self-rebirth as well so just see where you resonate here let's get the tea leaves so that we can get more information in terms of all of this Universe, what is ready to bloom for pile number one in their life right now? Okay. All right. Yeah, this is making me, this is giving me, I'm also seeing the month of January here. I think I'm going to take this card just in case because it might resonate for some of you because here with the dolphin, it says financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. Okay. So financial gain usually from something that you did in the past this is kind of making me think of like maybe you guys started something maybe it's back in january that's why i took the card of january because um january was in the beginning of the year right but maybe this reading is finding you later on or something uh, january could be significant for some of you in terms of like maybe you started something in january and now it's ready to start blooming or it start it's ready to maybe um you're ready to sort of get your returns from this 
because this card can also talk you know it's interesting because this card again can talk about like um sort of like the cause and effect of something that's how i like to see it sometimes you know we do something and there is an effect so it's making me think of like something you did in the past it's now ready for it to come into life it could be something like as a child as well like maybe you conceived a child in january and now it's um ready okay i think that that doesn't really make sense because now it's the 10th um like october is the 10th but maybe you know i'm kind of picking up that kind of energy maybe like you did something in the past and now it's time for it to like birth, right? Yeah, I, I'm feeling that like now it's time for it to birth. So that is the energy I'm picking for you. You also have flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. I feel like the universe is really reminding you to like aim for exactly what you want, okay? Uh, and if you're ready to release something, don't rush it just so that you get it out there, right? Make sure that it's like you're happy with it and it's like up to your standard. So you see in terms of this thing that's ready to bloom in your life, don't rush it, guys. Like I feel like there is um, a divine timing for this and it will happen in the best way possible and don't lower your standards so that it happens prematurely you know it happens like don't lose patience in that kind of sense right i feel like things need time to develop um and to you know create their wholeness and if we try to do them prematurely or we try to rush them and um you know maybe you're not gonna get the the, the same standard as if you were to invest more time into it so I feel like the universe is kind of advising you here to just don't lower your standards just to get things quicker or to get things faster um, or maybe like don't release something that you're not fully satisfied with like I'm seeing that kind of thing um, like just make sure that this thing is ready before it goes out into the world or whatever you know you resonate in terms of the situation I feel like there is this message of don't lower your standards for this um, but yeah to kind of summarize here i feel like the main thing that's ready to bloom for you is like something that you did in the past and now it's like coming to life so it, it does quite feel like a birth of some kind right so it can be maybe you started a business a while back and now it's sort of starting to bloom it's starting to flourish or maybe you uh, started a project a while back and now that you're releasing it it's 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 time to you know be out into the world and receive attention so i'm kind of seeing this kind of um uh, thing energy for you guys so let's get your tarot cards to see more messages for problem number one what is ready to bloom in your life one more what is ready to bloom for problem number one universe Okay, we have Six of Cups energy as well, which can talk about the past. I definitely this is feel like this is something that you're kind of aware of. Okay, it like you have been doing this for a while. It's, to me, like the main energy I'm picking up for this palette is like something you did in the past. It's ready to be successful or it's ready to get the attention. It's ready to have its time. Like that's what I'm getting like from this pile. All right, let's see. We have the, wow, King of Swords here. We can all learn important things from one another. Very interesting, because you also had the messages, a message of don't be tempting to lower your standards. And the King of Swords, it's quite known to be very strict or like a perfectionist. So I feel like, again, you're getting that same reminder of, you know, make sure that you're satisfied with whatever this resonates for you, right? Like, make sure that you don't, lower your standards or you, you you know being a perfectionist is maybe also not such a good thing because then we get stuck into the perfection but we need to kind of find that balance between okay i'm really happy with this now and you know not just rushing you just to get it out so i feel like just really make sure that you're not lowering your standards just to do something quickly is what i'm hearing you also have the knight of wands sometimes you have to be willing to bend the rules a little okay knight of wands you also have the knight of cups okay rom uh, romanticize the present moment every chance you get you have two knight energies oh we also have the ace of uh wands 
don't you see how your passion makes you glow? I was just gonna mention something about your passion here with the Knight of Cups showing up and I'm really happy that this card is kind of like coming up as confirmation too. Okay, and we also have the Queen of Wands. Replace your self-doubt with self-confidence. Wow, you have a lot of like, you know, you have the King, the Queen here, the Queen, two Knights, Ace of Wands, a lot of like, I wanna say confident energy I'm getting from this pile. Um, I feel like this has to do with your work primarily is what I'm hearing, like something connected to your career that you feel really passionate about. Maybe it's just a hobby still It's and it's ready to bloom into something more is kind of like more what I'm feeling energetically with this pile. Like I feel like this is the message that most of you will resonate with, sort of like maybe you have been doing something, like being very disciplined about something but it was still just a hobby for you, right? Or, you know, if it's like a project that you're working on behind the scenes, it's still kind of like a hobby. It's maybe not out there in the world. It's not taking its own life. So I feel like you have been working behind the scenes a lot on stuff like this, like project behind the scenes that have to do maybe with something that you feel really passionate about. Maybe it's something creative or something that you want to turn into your job. And I feel like the universe is here to give you signs of support in terms of this and like I, I see moving forward you're gonna see progress in this area of your life and uh, a lot of exciting events happening in terms of this like you releasing something and doing something really well I'm seeing sort of this kind of feedback for you uh, but it's definitely going to feel very inspiring and I see maybe something that used to be just an idea it's sort of taking its own life in this moment for you guys and I see that it's gonna bring a lot of recognition to you a lot of confidence um, and I feel like a lot of you are maybe kind of like in the finishing stages of it all. That's why you're seeing this reading. Uh, but, and there's still like that reminder to, you know, make sure that you're happy with this and satisfied. And if you need like an extra month or you need an extra week, like don't, you know, give, give yourself that. Don't lower your standards. Just make sure that it's good before you release into the world. Okay, let's see what else, Pondaron. What else do you need to hear in terms of this? Universe, what messages do you have for pile one? Okay, we have the bad spirit. A rebirth is assured. Yeah, I was speaking also about a rebirth for you in the beginning. There is like a lot of birth energy. Look at this, you have birth and then rebirth. It's going to bring in a lot of luck though. You know, I feel like sometimes like just... Oh, do you know how I'm seeing this as well? It's like... You know, maybe what you're about to release into the world feels like your authentic self, right? Some Because sometimes maybe we feel a different way, but maybe how the world perceives us can be totally two, diff two different things. And I feel like maybe what you're about to release or put into the world is really going to show like your authenticity. And it's going to give you also like this public rebirth as well. Like people might start to finally see you for who you really are authentically. And it's bound to have a lot of great energy around this because you do did also get the lucky card. So whatever you're working on, guys, I feel like it has a lot of potential here. Um, and I feel like you're ready, you know, to do something very authentically, like do something that is really you. And um, I feel like you will also be surprised by how well received this is going to be because i see with the queen of wands it is going to put you in the spotlight or it's going to put you in that energy of attention and recognition especially for your authenticity and for you for your uniqueness so i see sort of people starting to appreciate more your uniqueness and seeing you for who you actually are because of this all right let's get your final card poll number one what is your last message coming from the universe we have a yash here set sail on a new course yeah it, it does feel like you know maybe this release or this time of your life it does maybe feel like you're setting sail on a new course right you're doing something new so there is like that energy as well and we have flow let your words drift away i feel like the last thing the universe wants to tell you is to not worry so much about this like i know it, it's maybe stressful because the deadline to something is approaching or like you're about to release something you have been really working on so maybe it's starting to feel a bit like 
you know, stressful or you're just feeling anxious if things are going to work out and if things are going to have a great result. But I feel like the universe is here to remind you to let your worries drift away because I feel like whatever you guys are doing in the moment has really great potential. So the universe is really here to remind you to just don't worry and just do you, right? Just do what you feel it's right, how you think it should be done. Don't overthink it, but just do what feels right for you and don't try to stress so much right don't try to stress getting it out in time or something like that like there is this energy if you need more time or if or if you just need to change something or something like that like do it listen to your intuition in this time and if you feel like you don't need to change anything that's also right your intuition so just you know do what feels right in terms of this i want to say pile number one um, but that's what I have for your message today. I hope that this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello my beautiful pile number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading for today about what is ready to bloom in your life in this time. So pile number two for your card today, you guys felt drawn to the seed card as well as the rose quartz crystal. All right, so this is your crystal in your card. Let's get into your reading pile number two and let's see what is ready to bloom in your life here in this time when this reading finds you. So let's start with some oracle cards for you and let's feel the energy of your pile. And let's ask the universe for your message, okay? Universe, what is ready to bloom for pile two in their life in this time and moment? What is ready to bloom for pile two? All right, so we have Caprice here. We have number 13. Interesting. Number 13 and, and zero, right? I do get this energy of like something is ending and something new is starting for you. Let's see what this is talking about. Ooh, pleasure. Okay. That's really nice. Do you know what I'm getting for you, pile number to I'm almost getting this energy of like you're about your life is about to start blooming or like um I see there being like I don't know if this Paul has been feeling a bit of like this heavy energy but that's I don't know here with the clouds it's kind of reminding me of like maybe your life has been feeling a bit confusing or your life has been feeling like maybe heavy in a sense or just kind of gloomy at times lately like i'm kind of feeling that for you and i feel like that's ready to end and what's ready to bloom for you is your life like yeah i feel like this is such, it's such a beautiful message but that's what i'm almost getting for you especially with um the seed card here and you know the number zero it's really making me think of ending and a new beginning and with pleasure i feel like things are about to get really good for you like this kind of new start to life that you're about to have it's gonna feel really good and i see you first of all being surrounded i did see on the bottom of the deck the um, family card so i feel like first of all you're gonna be surrounded by really joyful and great people Maybe you're reconciling with your family or you're going to get closer to your family soon. Uh, but I just see you, first of all, like being surrounded. Like the people in your life are going to be really good. They're going to be really positive. People that you love, people that you feel like they encourage you and they make you a better person. And I also see you like paying more attention to the things that you love doing, things that you feel passionate about. Uh, your environment maybe is going to change into something better and it's going to improve. But... I feel like you're just ready to start living the life that will make you happy and is going to bring you pleasure. It's going to bring you, you know, happiness and, and joyfulness. So I feel like that's what's ready to bloom for you. And it's a really beautiful message. We also have the, the roots here, right, of the seed. I want to say that this has been maybe in the making for a while, right? But things just kind of needed to take the roots just kind of needed to settle down in place and stuff so maybe you have been feeling like you've been on a journey but i'm almost seeing like it's time for the next phase or something like that like yeah and with the rose course I'm, I'm kind of hearing something about like romanticizing your life so i feel like there is that kind of energy in this pile 
Let's get uh, some tea leaves here for you as well. For pile number two, universe, what is ready to bloom in their life? In this time, what is blooming for pile number two? Can you please give us their message? Pile number two. Oh, all right, that one flew in the ground. Let me just take it. Okay, so let's see. We have the month of September here. Maybe this is significant for you guys. Um, <clears throat> maybe you have been feeling a sort of like an energy from September because September was right now when we're, we're in October. If you're watching this video right now, if it's finding you later on, maybe it's going to be significant in another way for you. But I feel if you're seeing this right now, like maybe this sort of, and maybe you have been feeling this kind of energy of like, you know, my life is about to change or something since, since September. Like I, maybe you have been sensing this kind of like things are going to change. Like I'm kind of feeling it in my energy. Like, you know, maybe you're getting ready to release things that don't serve you anymore or something like that. And that's usually, you know, when re things really change, when we just put an end to something that it's taking away our happiness, it's taking away our power. So maybe there's September might be significant for you um, in terms of this topic. We also have Arrow. You're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Okay, I like seeing this for you, Pile Number 2. It seems like you're going in the right direction. And I want to say for you, like, I don't know if you're wanting to do something, like completely go in a new direction, or maybe you want to quit something. Uh, maybe you want to, you know, quit in the sense of like, just let it go because it doesn't make you happy anymore. Or it doesn't bring you health it doesn't bring you pleasure right in that kind of sense like it feels like you guys want to do something and maybe you still haven't decided like fully yet but i feel like the universe is saying like you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life so in terms of whatever it is that you're aiming to do you're on the right path maybe in september you really align yourself or something and we also have the bouquet compliments from an admirer. Ooh, okay. I like compliments from an admirer. This right away, this made me think of like, I don't know why it made me think of like people online liking you. I don't know if some of you are kind of just wanting to like do something online or something. Like I'm seeing you seeing sort of great feedback from people but this can also be something like somebody keeping an eye on you or somebody being interested in in you that you're not aware of so there could be also like a blooming of a new love right but the bouquet with the flowers right yeah so it kind of really depends on like what you're resonating with it could be like blooming of an audience it could be blooming of maybe a person who you're not aware of and if you feel energetically like, I feel like somebody is liking me, but you're not really sure. So maybe this is a confirmation for you guys, okay? But I see you receiving compliments either way. Like if I feel like this is maybe more so talking about like you receiving compliments when you really go into a direction that you feel called to go. You know, like I see you pe see people appreciating you in this direction. And maybe you want to turn away from something that is not making you happy to go in a direction that will make you happy like i'm kind of sensing this energy for this pal and once you go there you're gonna see the happiness you're gonna see the pleasure you're gonna see the com the compliments you know people appreciating you for who you really are yeah i like this energy for you pile too let's get your tarot cards to see more what is ready to bloom for pile two Okay, I feel like that is enough. Yeah, okay. We have the Ace of Wands here. Don't you see how your passion makes you glow? Wow, I feel like the universe is really saying to focus on what you feel passionate about because this is like when you're going to be the most attractive and you're going to attract like whatever it is you want. You also have compliments from an admirer and here it says how your passion makes you glow. So it's making me think of like the more you do what makes you happy, the more you do and make decisions that benefit you and that are in your favor, the more and more attractive attractive you will become to everything great. Like I'm seeing that kind of energy for this pile. We also have the Six of Cups. Give yourself the compassion you you were never given. Wow, this pile, this pile is really talking a lot about like self-love and just choosing for yourself for once. Like 
I don't know if you have been putting up with some things or you have been always kind of trying to please other people before you pull number two, but I really feel like the universe is saying like this time, maybe you made a decision to do something for yourself and give it to yourself. And if you did so, I feel like this is like really moving you in the right direction. Wow, Queen of Wands, replace your self-doubt with self-confidence. I feel like this pile is definitely talking about you taking on a new life. Like, I feel like that's what's ready to bloom. Like, your self-confidence, this sort of new way of living, where you're just really just doing what makes you happy. Like, you don't have time for negativity anymore. You don't have time for people or situations, things that just don't bring you joy. Like, you don't want that in your life anymore. So, I feel like your life is really blooming for the better in terms of everything. We also have the patient witch. Learn how to get comfortable with sitting with sitting still whenever necessary. Okay. And you guys also have the hierophant. Tradition is important, but it doesn't have to be everything. Okay, I feel like with um with the patient witch, I'm kind of seeing this message of sometimes we do need a reminder that it's not that we're not doing enough, but sometimes things just like I don't know, they just need time. It's in our life, we're all just trying to figure it out as we go. And I feel like sometimes, like no matter how much we do, we, we just need to wait, right? No matter what action we take or whatever, I feel like there is this energy in the universe. So sometimes things need to marinate. That's how I like to say, like sometimes things need to mar marinate behind the scenes. And it's that energy where we just need to sit still and we need to allow it to happen. Like we just planted a seed, right? And the seed needs time to sprout. You can do anything, right? You need to care for the seed. You need to water it, give it sun and, you know, be kind to it. But you can't really do anything in terms of forcing it to grow faster than it's going to. And that is the kind of patience I'm seeing for this pile in terms of like, you planted a seed, you are taking care of the seed. But you can't do, you, you know, after that, it's just, it's just up to time, right? There is that energy sometimes in life. And I feel like maybe you need a reminder that it's maybe not that you're not doing enough, but it's just that time that the seed needs to grow and flourish on its own. And we also have tradition is important, but it doesn't have to be everything. With the hyphen being present, I'm sort of getting a lot of energy if you are maybe feeling really close to faith in this moment. Maybe you've kind of let a lot of things to the universe or to, to God, to whatever you believe in. Like you just kind of were like, well, you know, just let source do it. I, I'm almost seeing this kind of energy for this pile because again, in the process of things growing and your hands feeling tied, there's nothing really else to do, but just let it grow and then let the universe do it, do its thing, right? That's kind of what I'm seeing. This is like, you can do your best and you can give your best and then it's just about letting the universe help you and and bring it to life right it's that's kind of the part that feels a bit outside of our human body so sometimes we need to i feel like maybe you need this reminder just let things grow on their own sometimes you don't really need to interfere always um <clears throat> But yeah, I definitely feel like you're just really get, getting like your life back almost. Like you're really starting to get like a glow to you by just focusing on things that you love doing, uh, becoming more confident in everything. And yeah, to summarize your reading, I'm really feeling like what's ready to bloom for you is sort of like your new life, like a new life that is taking place for you. Okay, let's end your reading with some last oracle cards. Yeah, a dream dream the world into being i feel like it, it resonates a lot right with sort of your life starting to take a different form here we also have the dove spirit be at peace yeah i feel like you really need like reassurance to just know that everything is gonna work out and that everything is in fact happening because you know sometimes the, the seed needs to establish its roots and that is happening underground right you don't really see that but then it starts to sprout. And I'm kind of seeing that energy for you, right? Maybe you have been feeling like you're underground for a lot of time, but that was just sort of you like doing the basics and establishing the foundation. And now I see you like sprouting. I see it's time for, for you to, again, like live a life that just makes you 
feel joyful and happy. Let's get your last card, pull number two. What is your last message coming from the universe? All right. We have wild, believe in your art, outwardly beauty, dance with the waves and drink in the sunshine. Again, like uh, I'm seeing a lot of this energy of just happiness, you know, just kind of going with the flow, feeling happy, doing things that make you feel happy, feeling confident and great about yourself. I feel like the universe wants to remind you guys to just like focus on yourself in this time and what makes you happy. Because the more and more you make decisions based on what is what is going to bring you true genuine happiness and, and again like not in the terms of like like a like a, you know like a self like selfish in a negative way but selfish in a positive way of like if something is not making me happy why would i give it my energy you know why would i give it my power so just i feel like you're getting this courage to say goodbye to maybe people or things that have been keeping you in this like sort of like stuck cycle of like feeling gloom you're not so great about yourself and maybe you're realizing that you're better off even on your own in terms of something because with the queen of wands there's a lot of independent energy in this pile and i feel like maybe you're just ready to sort of stand up for yourself and let your life transform into something more positive so pile number two i feel like that's what i have for your reading today I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello my beautiful pile number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading for today about what is ready to bloom in your life in this time. So pile number three for your card today, you guys feel drawn to the beautiful daisy here as well as the green crystal. All right, so that's your pile. Let's get into your reading, pile number three, and let's see what is getting ready to bloom for you here in your life in this time. So universe, what messages do you have for pile number three and what is getting ready to bloom for them at this time? <clears throat> what is ready to bloom for pile three universe? All right, let's take a look. So we have the man's wish here. Yeah, there is something about your wish. I feel like maybe this is talking about a wish. Let's see. Oh, and we have news. Okay, the man's wish and news. I feel like what's ready to bloom for you in this moment, it's sort of like, um, I'm seeing this as like a, you know, something that used to be a wish. It's ready to sort of bloom into full form and it's ready to come to life. So I feel like your wish is, is getting ready or it's actually your the topic for today is your wish what's ready to bloom right so i feel like your wish is ready to bloom in your life in this time and you might hear some news in terms of this um so in, expect it to be maybe announced to you expect maybe it's uh it will come in the way of like an email news a message or something like that maybe you will read about it somewhere i don't know uh, but i'm kind of getting like your wish is ready to bloom into life um, and I feel like that's your message for today. It's quite straightforward. It's it's very like um, direct, I want to say. So I'm going to take some tea leaves to see if we can get more information on maybe this wish or just anything else for you. Okay, pile number three. What is getting ready to bloom in your life? Sorry, what is ready to bloom in your life? All right. Universe for pile number three. So we have the month of March here, which may be significant for you. Maybe you can think of the Mar uh, of March and it might remind you of what this could be. We also have the lion, time to act. All right, it's time to take some kind of action. I feel like something is ready, you know, to sort of get a momentum or take its action. And we also have young younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. I have to say that maybe there is another party that's involved for this pile, like uh, maybe of masculine energy that might be younger than you. It doesn't really have to be, but um, you know, because it's a general reading, I feel like the age doesn't have to be so specific. But I feel like it's um, there's definitely maybe like perhaps another person involved in this situation. And for a lot of you, I feel like this might be a male. And I'm seeing this kind of like maybe. 
there is communication coming from another person that you have been waiting on um and i, I am kind of feeling like this might be even like a relationship that's ready to bloom or um like a friendship okay I'm, yeah i'm feeling this kind of energy for this pal where there is a connection between you and another person that you maybe you met them in march maybe you've known them since march if you're coming across this video later on this might you know happen in march um but we with time to act i feel like it's maybe time for this relationship to pursue itself or to you know one of the person to reach out to each other so i'm kind of seeing this happening like if you have a person on your mind and you're wishing for them to reach out for you, to you uh, it's time to act or maybe you are the the male right if, if you're a male you might want to reach out to another person maybe it's this is kind of like an encouragement to do it to it's time to act in terms of this um but yeah i'm feeling something about you and another person here it could be also like a business partnership because it's a general reading right let's get the tarot cards to see more about this pile number three what is getting ready to bloom in your life why do you keep saying getting ready for you that's so weird maybe this is going to maybe this is in the making and you're feeling it like you know let's see what is ready to bloom all right so we have the six of pentacles every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you okay every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you you also have the three of wands put yourself out there and you will be rewarded one way or another yeah interesting these two cards are speaking about you sort of gaining something because you've done something good in the past right so i feel like in terms of this the universe is rewarding you for being a good person it's rewarding you for your good deeds okay you also have the two of wands your decisions decide your future here nothing else you have the chariot you'll never get anywhere if you keep standing still and you had time to act okay i'm definitely seeing movement forward for the situation like i'm seeing movement forward and your last card is the broom tidy up your life so you can make space for something better oh wow okay the universe is really saying something good is coming in your life i feel like this is still sort of in the stages of preparation though right and because it kept saying in your pile like getting ready getting ready and then with the tidy up your life so you can make space for something better this is almost like the universe giving you a heads up if you're feeling like something is not resonating in your life right now it's time to tidy things up because something better is getting ready to bloom for you um and this is really going to feel like a reward for you being a great person or maybe you investing in some kind of way uh, whether it's through generous acts or through maybe skill building or through a bun like money investments right whatever it is i feel like this paul has been sort of like investing their energy into something and um you might be feeling a bit still in the moment i'm not gonna lie but maybe you just need the spirit of reflection to just kind of realize that your decisions is what you what decide your future and i feel like the universe is also encouraging you to start acting on things that you want to do to start pursuing things that you want to do and maybe it's a person that you want to pursue maybe it's an idea that you want to pursue but i feel like it's you're sort of getting ready to let go and cleanse your life of everything that doesn't resonate anymore and you just want to welcome in better things in your life um so i'm seeing a lot of messages here but there's something about like a specific person that is involved in the situation and maybe you will think of maybe this is like you will know what this is for you because i feel like it's a very specific thing so maybe you can think of a male person or just a person in general who does have to do something with all of this they could be again like your romantic interest maybe they're your boss maybe they're a family member or something but i feel like 
right now what is ready to bloom for you to summarize it because i feel like your reading is a bit like has a lot of directions let's see if now that we have most of the cards what what is the most i can get out of this like what is ready to bloom for you i feel like there is this energy of moving forward moving forward and things taking action you seeing the rewards you seeing um sort of you know that energy of you reap what you sow wishes coming true receiving news i'm seeing a lot of things i'm seeing a lot of changes for this poem I'm not gonna lie it does feel like a lot of things are so, sort of getting ready to come in for you but i feel like the main thing is going to be like in terms of news like you receiving some really good news from somebody maybe these are the news that you have been waiting on to take action or to see movement forward in terms of something okay let's see what else you need to hear poem number three you have the right uh, sorry the white raven spirit trust in the magic i feel like some things might feel unclear to you still like you might feel like um a bit confused in this situation that you're in but the universe is saying to trust in the magic right because i feel like things will happen in kind of like a surprising way considering that this person here it's like I feel like, um, you know, they're finding pennies underneath their couch. They pr they probably didn't even realize that it's there. So with your energy and your pile here, I'm kind of getting like, things will start to happen in a, like a very magical way in terms of your situation and this sort of blooming that's happening. Because I feel like you're maybe not even expecting it. And maybe things feel kind of still for you in this time. But I feel the universe is saying like, Trust that the magic will happen, right? Trust that things will sort of pick up. Because I'm kind of seeing, like, I don't know if you're going to read something or you might hear some news from a person that really inspire you and this is where things kind of start get, you know, to move and stuff. But I'm seeing kind of a met like an energy for you like this where you hear some news or something happens and then you fuel the inspiration you start acting and you start progressing things start picking up so there is this kind of magic that is involved in your energy here pile three well, let's get your last card to end your reading what is the last message that you need to receive from the universe oh stillness yeah i feel like maybe you have been feeling kind of still maybe you have been taking your time to the side or something like that but it does feel like some things have been still and with the lion it's time to act i feel like a lot more progress is also ready to bloom into your life like a lot more action things happening you hearing news you hearing announcements and we have wow yeah communicate things left unsaid will never reach the shore i feel like there is clearly communication coming in for this pal i'm sort of seeing this as like a confirmation that you will hear some kind of news from a person in terms of a situation and in terms of you know however this resonates for you you will hear some news that will sort of get things going for you i i want to say like you know now we have all of your cards out on the table and that's what i'm feeling for your pile it's like you hearing news that get things going um and this is i feel going to bring in a lot of change for you like it might require you to you know i feel like the universe is kind of saying like before all of this happens though like you have the time to cleanse your life you have the time to let go of things that you feel like don't resonate with you anymore and sort of make space for this greatness to come in so that when it comes in you know it has its own space and it has your attention and stuff so i feel like you're you're gonna hear some good news here in the nearby future that i feel like that's what's preparing for you and that's what's ready to bloom in your life polymer three so that's what I have for your reading. I hope that this resonated for you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.